Welcome to Never10.com. Today we're going to take a look at a mouse. This is Logitech's uh, new MX Anywhere 2 mouse. And I'm pretty excited to ch check this out. But what it is, it is a Bluetooth mouse, but also it is also a mouse that uses their unifying adapter. So it is a very flexible mouse. Uh, it is a travel size mouse. It is uh, just like the MX uh, Master mouse. This is actually the smaller uh, sibling to it. And uh, just like the MX Master, uh, it has uh, kind of like this, um, this kind of textured material on the side and uh, has a lot of the same features it has and also one of the nice things it does too as you can see from here it can pair up to three different devices so it's a very flexible mouse so I've been really really excited to try to get my hands on this to try out and let's go take a look at what you get in the box all right so uh, stuff that falls out get the manual and you have a nice uh, recharging cable. As nice as uh, it gives you this little Velcro loop here to kind of keep things together. Get to the mouse itself. And of course, we have the small unifying adapter. So it's interesting. Actually, this is actually smaller than the older uh, unifying adapters. It's actually they actually trimmed it by quite a bit. So it's even smaller uh, and shorter now. So that's great. Well. I won't be using it because I've been looking for this mouse as something to go along with my Surface Book. I wanted something small to carry around that didn't uh, require um, a lot of space. So as you can see, this is a very slim profile mouse. It uh, fits nicely in the hands. Nice, nice uh, quality buttons here. Uh, the wheel is really, really nice. It has that kind of velocity scrolling uh, wheel. And the button here that would normally is a programmable button to actually can lock and unlock the button. It's got side scrolling as well, so you can get the clickers on the side. Nice thing is that it's got a forward and backward button or a programmable button for the for functions there. Flipping over to the side here, the bottom side, we have to see the one, two, three here for the three different devices you can pair it with, on off button and pair button. Uh, from the front side you can see this is where the plug for the micro USB plug is, so you can charge the device. Yeah, it's quite a nice looking mouse. Very nice high quality materials. Feels really good in hand. Uh, now if you have a really big hand, I can see that becoming a problem. My hands are relatively, you know, they're, they're kind of small. They're not, not really gigantic hands. Uh, so we'll take a look at some other mice I have and compare it and see what it's like. And we'll pair it up to a couple devices and see how it performs. Alright, before we get too far into connecting up to devices, we I have a plethora of mice to, to compare it with. Now this is, of course, the bigger brother. This is the MX Master. As you can see, comparison-wise, this is much, much larger. Now, of course, with the MX Master, it is more capable. Uh, it has a thumb button over here. It has actually a, a horizontal scroll wheel, which is actually a nice smooth uh, scroll wheel here. And the back and forward buttons are actually top and bottom. The button over here is programmable, but one thing I, I uh, had uh, re realized later after finishing the unboxing is that this button does not cause it to lock. Now this is uh, this can unlock and lock the the scroll wheel, and the scroll wheel also acts as a button on the MX Master. This also acts as a button too, but it, it does actually does not act as a button. I'm going to take that back. But one thing you do is uh, you can click on this, and then it goes into a scroll mode where where it's actually um, a clickety scroll. And then when you click it again, it unlocks it and you can do a smooth scroll. So it performs a very fast scroll and it's actually really a nice feature to have. So you can actually go toggle back and forth by clicking on it. Now this is actually a programmable button, but you cannot program, it doesn't automatically lock this. This one here, you can actually set it so that you click on the button, it actually clicks it and locks it into that, that uh, point in, uh, pointy scroll uh, method there. The uh, other thing obviously was that there's a thumb button here that uh, you can you can program. This one does not have any type of button on the side except for these two left and uh, forward and backward buttons and a side to side. Uh, so it's kind of funny. Uh, the I've gotten kind of used to using this mouse at work most of the time and uh, I actually like the forward and backwards buttons on the top and bottom. I actually find it kind of a little bit cumbersome to actually reach forward and backwards for them. I, I don't know. It's a little, little funny thing of mine that I've uh, noticed. Now, uh, of course, you know, like I said before, this is actually a much more bulkier mouse, so it's not quite as portable. It's still actually a, a much more comfortable mouse because it's it's ergonomically shaped, as you can see from there. Now, this also has, you know, it's good at decent ergonomics, but it's it's low profile, so um, you know, it doesn't give you that, that extra extra curvature, but it works nicely. Now, comparing it to other mice I have here, obviously, this is the slimmest you can probably find. This is 
Microsoft's Surface uh, Arc, Arc Mouse Surface Edition, and you basically turn it on. You, you you collapse it, it clicks, and it turns on. Nice. It's a nice, great travel size mouse because it folds so flat, and it actually has two buttons and an interesting scroll wheel here. I have a re review on this unit if you want to take a look at that. So I won't go into detail of it, but obviously this is a much much smaller mouse. And obviously when you when you collapse and you click it into full size mode, it actually is size comparable in size. A little bit longer, uh, but uh, it, it, uh, the nice thing about this, obviously, you buy this for being super, super compact and easy to carry around. This thing uses two AAA batteries in here, and of course, this one is rechargeable. So, you know, this one is still more portable, but you don't get the side buttons, and uh, the, the scroll wheel is it's a nice scroll wheel. It has a little, little tactic feedback when you scroll it, but it uh, really does pale in comparison to a real scroll, scroll wheel like this one here. One of my other mice I use as a Bluetooth mouse is a, is a TechNet I have. Now, obviously, this is on the on the lower price end spectrum, and you know it's a good mouse, uh, but but the the quality of the materials is definitely noticeable. It's, this is actually a little bit more hefty. This is a kind of light feeling, a little bit hollow feeling. The, the the buttons are not as nice as the buttons that are here. They just don't feel as nice. And uh, the scroll wheel is just a clickety scroll wheel, and it doesn't have the options. And even the clickety feels kind of mushy in comparison to the, the sharp clickiness in the Logitechs. Now this is obviously a different, completely different price category. It's a great mouse. Uh, I've had good luck with this mouse, uh, using it for, for um, traveling around and you know, being a Bluetooth mouse. This is actually a pretty good mouse. Now obviously these the, this falls into the category of a premium mouse. So you're going to pay a lot more money for these type of mice. Even for this one, technically, it's a premium mouse because these are not cheap. So, all right, so let's go and take a look at this guy on a couple of my devices. All right, so here I have my Surface Book that I primarily purchased it for. Now, when I have it turned on over here, I already previously paired this up already. Uh, there's the three, three settings, one, two, and three. And uh, the second setting, I actually, I think I paired it up with my Mac, and we'll show that in a moment here. So one number one being my Surface Book, and it's uh, turned on, and this is the pair button once again. So we can see that it's, it's uh, you know, I'm not sure if you can see from this distance. Let me see if I move this a little bit closer, so I need to see my keyboard. So from here, I can open my computer, pointer moves quite smoothly. Uh, what you can do is let's uh, open up the Logitech Options software, and we'll talk about that real quick. So I also have my MX Master paired to this now. It's turned not turned on, but you can see with the, with the Options software, it gives you the option to choose which one to, to configure. And we're going to configure this guy, and we'll go into this software here and see what we have here. Is this, this is actually a button that can be used for gestures, and you can do a scroll left, scroll right, and you can customize these. You can swap buttons as well. Uh, nice thing about this mouse being that it's uh, more of a normal shape as a more more universal shape uh, it could probably be used as a left-handed mouse as well unfortunately you won't you don't, you'll lose these buttons but you can swap the buttons and probably use it this way as well something you really can't do with the mx master so what you're going to you can program these buttons so like the forward you can do forward gesture buttons scrolling right you can do some custom key assignments same thing with the button there uh the default here is a, is a gesture button and right here there you can if you hold the button down, you can go to Start Menu, uh, holding it down, scrolling downward, you get a uh, Show High Desktop, and then you go to the end. It's kind of nice what I did is the, the, the virtual desktops in Windows 10, you can use it and hold it down and simply scroll left and right. So holding it down, it's really kind of very handy. So if I have things open, like say I had a browser open here, and you can go over here, go over here, go over here, and say if I have Visual Studio Code open over here, working on something, I can simply just hold this down, scroll over, scroll over, and do so. That's really kind of a nice thing. Once again, start menu by just clicking and holding, click, pushing up that gesture, and then and show high desktop the way around. So it's very, very handy. And then uh, just hitting the, by itself, just the button, I have it set up as task view, so you can kind of see the task manager. It's simply like, like, an, like an alt tab almost. Actually, more like a, it's a, um, Windows key tab uh, to get that view, which is really kind of a handy. So it's very, very nice. So this is from this one mouse, I can do all these awesome gestures. I can also set it up for a middle mouse button. So if for those applications you want a middle mouse button, you can actually do that. With the options software, you can customize it for applications. I have not done that, but it can be very useful. So for example, if using something like 3D Studio Max or 3D, 3D software, typically it wants a, a middle mouse of some sort. And in the past, a lot of them have 
buttons you can click on the on the wheel and it's always been very very cumbersome and so it's nice to have this to be able to use this as a middle click so it's very very handy so that's the the logic option software let's go get my other devices spread it out and you know play with the with the multiple device setup. all right so here i have some devices i have my retina macbook pro my surface book and an android tablet now i previously paired up this mouse with uh these two devices and uh, I have it turned on right now. It's at one. And you can see with this setting here, you know, it all works just fine here. Maximize that. And one thing I wanted to show was this is the, the clickety scroll. You kind of hear that. I just think if you unlock it, now this is very effective if you have very large uh, documents I want to scroll through really quickly. So it's a very, very nice little feature to have. A lot of mice don't have this. It's a particular Logitech has these, and it's really, really kind of nice. And we'll, we'll go to number two. So just simply clicking on number two this way, I'm over here now. So you see here, I'm now just as easily able to control this. And once again, I unclick, and I can, oops, once I get to the screen here, I can simply quickly scroll. I don't know why it's still jittery there, but there you go. So that's kind of nice. Or I click on the button again. I go back to the standard clickety scroll there. And so we'll pair it up with this guy. I didn't pair it up yet. So I'm going to go to number three here. And it's going to, I'm going to click on this button here to get the pair. So it's flashing. So I'm going to pick this guy up and we're going to go and go to the settings here and under Bluetooth. And we're going to go and try to find it. So available devices, let's make sure, let's refresh this. And it sees I have an MX Anywhere. There it is. So MX Anywhere 2, click on that. It's going to connect. And once, all right, there it is. So it's connected. In a moment, I should have a mouse cursor. Yep, there it is. So now I'm connected. So now I have, you see my mouse moving around over there. So I'm going to hit Home. And I'm going to go back to Chrome here. And I have my web page up. And so I'm going to move this a bit so you can see it. So I'm here. I want to do the same same deal. Click on this, and uh, fast scrolling. So this is actually very handy for uh, for large documents, like I said before. So there you are. And from here, I can navigate. I can click on things. Uh, I'm, right, or I'm on the wrong article. Click on this to get back. So I got home here, so I can click on this. Scroll down. So all that's available. So right there, and then once again, clicking on number one, I'm back over here, just as quickly. Number two, I'm over here. And then number three, I'm over here. Just that fast. So it's great. So the, the only concern I have with this device is that I have mixed feelings about rechargeable batteries. It's just one of those things that, you know, they eventually do die, and then you're kind of stuck with a device that, that doesn't work. And it's not something you can replace. It's not like something that uses a double A AA or triple A set of batteries that can be, you know, you can buy rechargeable batteries for those. So, I don't know, it's, it's may, may not be a big deal. Some folks don't care. And, uh, you know, and, and, you know, it does work. And it's one of those things that eventually, um, you know, maybe the, the, the mouse will, will uh, no longer work once the battery's gone. I mean, by that time, it won't matter. But this is only, the only thing I can really think of. Aside from that, it's a very well-built mouse, like I said before. It's uh, definitely on the more costly side. Uh, you know, the, the MX Anywhere 2 and the MX Master are some of the more expensive mice you can get your hands on. They're premium, and they feel premium. You know, they're, they're, they've got a good weight to them. Uh, they, they are nice built. The plastic is really, really high quality. The buttons are real nice. You pay for the extra scroll wheel, the extra functionality you get with uh, these extra buttons on here, and uh, and it, it has a has a very good tracking capability. So these are it's a great mouse. So I wouldn't let the, the price deter you. And also, once again, the, this mouse is the only, one of the very few mice that actually can go to three different devices. There's not much on the market outside of Logitech's uh, MX series that can actually do that. So if you're looking for a good Bluetooth mouse or high quality Bluetooth mouse that could work on these devices. You really can't go wrong with either the MX Master or the MX Anywhere 2. So if you have any questions or something I didn't cover or something you want to see, you know, leave me some feedback, subscribe, share my videos. Thanks for watching.